give us a quick update on how the brand has performed globally in the last 12 months? We've had a great year. Um, as you know, we uh, have sort of done a major resurrection of the Davidoff brand over the last 18, 20 months, and it has uh, shown in the numbers. So we had a very, very good uh, run. Uh, the last 12 months, the Davidoff business has been up 16%, which obviously in a, in a market that is uh, flat or a little bit down in Europe and a little bit up in Asia is a very, very good, uh, very, very good result. So it's different from region to region, from travel retail to domestic markets. Uh, travel retail is doing extremely well in the Middle East, in, uh, in Asia still, uh, and uh, Americas as well, I must say. Uh, Europe is, uh, is, is always tough, but it's still the biggest market. So it's, uh, it's a good mix and a very balanced uh, development. And so with luxury in the spotlight, how do you define luxury today? You know, for, for me, the luxury, the definition of luxury, it's, it's about authenticity, it's about quality, it's about uh, heritage, and, and, and uh, that's what I think Davidoff is all about. But in addition to that, since we are sort of a, an affordable luxury, yes, it's a luxury cigar, but it's also something that people can afford and allow themselves to do uh, once in a while. So I define our particular luxury more as pleasure, right? It's, it's, it's our line is time beautifully filled and it's a luxury moment where you have 45 minutes, an hour to relax with friends or on your own uh, to do uh, just that, relax and fill your time beautifully. Last year you launched Davidoff Nicaragua, which was a real innovation in terms of where the tobacco in the cigar came from. What does innovation mean to you and what can we expect to see next from the brand? I think innovation is incredibly important and I think that's part of why we have grown so nicely in, in, in the past two years is that we have had an innovation pipeline that has been impressive both for our own company but also quite frankly vis-a-vis -vis, uh, competition. So we are very focused on you know, remaining an innovation leader so you will see a lot of uh, new innovation going forward and uh, next year we have a uh, a couple of major, major initiatives which I cannot unveil today, but it's 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 very, very big projects that it's uh, very exciting. What we are unveiling here uh, in Cannes this year is is obviously already now the the year of the sheep uh, for next year, which which is an exciting project because here we are really extending also into accessories and really having a full, what I would say, collection uh, of items in addition to the cigar. And secondly, of course, David of Nicaragua has been a, a tremendous success. And what we're introducing here in Cannes is two line extensions, the Diadema, which is sort of the royal format of cigars, the mother of all cigar formats, but also the small Primeros, which gives you an opportunity to have that distinct Nicaragua flavor in a, in a very short uh, period of time. And then finally, uh, there's been a lot mentioned about uh, legislation and regulation in the tobacco industry. How do you anticipate it will affect you over the coming year? It is clearly our biggest uh, external challenge uh, and uh, I was happy to see uh, Eric Ewell Mortensen spending some time on that topic today also from a duty-free perspective because obviously whatever happens in domestic legislations is normally sort of directly applicable to, to travel retail as well and, and I think there are obviously with the new TPD2, the new European tobacco uh, product directive, there's a lot of things there that between now and 2016 has to have a very costly exercise. Uh, but what is sort of the most uh, challenging, I would say, is the second part of that legislation, which is, comes to implementation in 2020, which is track and traceability, which is going to be a big, big challenge. In, since we all do handmade cigars, it's not like a cigarette machine where everything is the same in each cigarette. So that, there are a lot of, lot of challenges out there. We just heard this week, leading up to Cannes, that the French government uh, is planning a tax increase on cigars and cigarillas specifically, which would basically double the retail prices everywhere, including in travel retail. So there are definitely some uh, dark clouds on that uh, on that horizon. On the other hand, legislative uh, uh, initiatives has been part of our life forever, uh, but it's certainly not getting less.